here we have uh, our next image. There's a couple of different abnormalities here that, that, I, that one could um, point to. And perhaps it would be useful if I also gave some, um, some context. So let's say that this is a young woman who, um, or, or even an older gentleman, the older gentleman perhaps notices darkening of his stools um, and some blood, the young woman, particularly heavy menstrual cycle, um, what might this be a clue to? And, and it just goes to show how important the clinical story is behind the vignette. Because in isolation, sure, um, some of you correctly pointed out that this cell right here looks a little funny. It might look like a helmet cell, right? And, and there's some funny morphologies here. The central pallor differs quite a bit. But what I'm zooming in on is that these cells are small. Here we have a white blood cell. And you see that the red cell is smaller even than the white blood cell. Some of these cells considerably smaller. So we have microcytes. And we also have a lot of, a, a large degree of central pallor. The central pallor is expanded in this particular micro, uh, in this particular smear, which leads us to the diagnosis of iron deficiency anemia. And again, the demographics are those who have chronic bleeding disorders, whether it's through the GI tract, whether it's through the GU tract, the presentation that you would read in that vignette would include fatigue, pallor, great place to look is under the eyes, as well as glossitis, chiliosis, as well as pica, these folks sometimes have a propensity to be chewing on uh, non food substances, which is the definition of pica. Um, again, because their body is craving that iron. And of course, the labs are low iron, low ferritin, and high TIBC. Shout out to the chat who pointed out that the classic demographics here is exactly what I was saying. Cancer in older individuals, right? As well as any chronic bleeding disorder in, in young women. You're thinking of an older patient population.